Hi, I'm Natasha Lockhart. Welcome to our Christmas show. We have surprises for you. I'm Afro Danes. We will have visits from a few special guests. I can't wait. And I'm Stacy Beck. We have heard that Christmas is a season of giving. What are you going to give this year? And we have invited a couple of our biggest fans to join the fun coming right up on Studio Chatter. Welcome to Studio Chatter. How are we doing? Yay! Fabulous countdown. I can't believe it's Christmas. Oh, I know. It. Can you Honestly. understand it? Oh no. Wow. All of a sudden. Boom. Just like that, yeah. Just getting ready tonight to come. I'm like, this is our Christmas episode. This is, I know. Yes. This is it. This is this it. Is it. This wow. Is, I'm even thinking about like the end. I mean, you know, how many days to Christmas? <laughs> oh. And then it's the end of the year. I know. And oh. then it's the new year. Yeah, that's very what true. What are we thinking? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Well, yes. you both look lovely. You're well, very you dressed up. Oh, and likewise. I'm very dressed down. Yeah, I, you look no, good. But yeah. we're from Mia's, and so whatever she gave us that's is awesome. Right. So yes. thank you. Yes. Mm. Natasha, thank you. you start this time, because we always start. Yeah. Okay. Show off your dress. Yes. All right. Yes, well, it's kind of it's kind of different for me to be in a dress, it right? Is, but I right. decided to but go. I love with it. The, Crushed the velvet. Well, and I think that's I think that's what the appeal right. was this time is that it was the green velvet. Yeah. And um, my daughter has a, a green velvet dress at home too, so I think that was part of it too. So that we could be matchy matchy, but it's love very it. festive for the yes, season. Yes, it is. So, yes, and kind of dressed it up tonight with some pearls, but it can also be very casual. Yeah, with boobies either way. And, Decided to go the other way tonight. So love it. Beautiful. Thank you, Mia's. Yes. Fantastic. And what about you? So for mine, I love the I, we sleeves. We love your top. Yeah, yes, love the, the sleeves. Yeah, I love these sleeves. In fact, mm -hmm. for my wedding, I had the longer version, but in white. Same oh, kind cool. of style. Oh, so marvelous. Love things like we'll that. have to do a throwback sometime and see that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think I might fit in it, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Way back then, you know? But yes, Gorgeous. Mia's, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Well, Mia's outfitted me in this shirt that night, but then I went back. I love oh. the ruffle. Mm -hmm. And so I went back and bought the jacket. Nice. And love it. My jeans. Oh. And I love like the, the trimming right yes. here, but yeah. also the pockets. Yeah. And they're that rubber band stretch. Yes. That's the brand. Oh. Mm -hmm. so comfortable. They just, oh, they're so comfortable. Yes. They don't feel like jeans. Like if mm. I wear jeans after this. Yes. Like, yeah, these are the best. I, I love that brand too. They this have one. so much. So, it's the jewelry from me. Yes. Nope, I just, I've had this, but I did see a necklace just like this. It's just really simple. So she has a lot of just feminine. She has jewelry yeah. and the blanket scarves and oh, the, yes. the hobo handbags. And the handbags. beanies. I want to go back for the little hats. Oh, yes. Yeah. They love yeah. me. So if thanks have, again. Yes. More shopping to do. Absolutely. I've been back Absolutely. a couple of times. Well, really moving on to some of the hot topics. Okay, yes. So, gosh, let's talk about some of the Me Too aftermath. Oh, my goodness. You know, last month, it's been <laughs> maybe two months ago, <laughs> when our producer p asked mm -hmm. us if we should talk about it right for our, our chat list and mm -hmm. i said well do you think it's really gonna are we still gonna be talking about it when we film next week right right oh. surprisingly two months later still it has like ex exploded, exploded. Mm -hmm. yes well i know that you and i were were kind of texting <laughs> offline yes. and you were you were a little bit surprised by <sighs> matt Lauer. yes i was shocked i was too like, were you, I was like but were you really yes really? I, to me, he was like the one mm -hmm. that wasn't going to be involved in that kind of smut. So I was just mad and heartbroken that he mm. was part of that. You know who really, you, Bill Cosby. I've t I think I've talked to you about that. You remember that Bill Cosby you. was you? way before. Yeah, oh, because he oh. is like. He's a family man. He is a family, a family man. man. I've seen him a lot, you know, live. Mm -hmm. And I think he's just, he's funny. And the Cosby show was yeah, all about right. the family thing. I think you I know, was shocked He could then. do no wrong until later on in his life. I mm -hmm. mean, that was shocking. Yeah. Because, you know, when you have this you know, feel of somebody, not that you're worshipping them or anything, but you know, you have respect for yeah. them and then mm -hmm. you hear about that and you're like, no way. I had heard rumblings of Matt before, so I, so I wasn't a shock. No, yeah. not completely but, surprised, but I, I don't know. I guess I, maybe I'm kind of of the opinion anymore that nothing surprises me anymore. I mean, mm. I guess it's unfortunate, but I think I was just sad. Like I yeah, think for a good I, day, I, I was just is, like, right? really? And things are happening local with our, you know, local mm -hmm. people too. Yeah. Not here in Spanish Fork, <laughs> local. of course not. But just, you know, in Utah. So right. it's just unfortunate. Yes. That, well, that right. It's almost like people are lead, leading two lives, aren't they? Yeah. Really. And 
we don't know. But it really, and you, and it surprises me what you know what I hear, and you're like, really? Why? Mm-hmm. Well, and I also think all the things that we are hearing. I think mm-hmm. that's the tip of the iceberg from what's really, really happened. happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are things happened, that yes. have been like buried. Yes, women not Absolute. coming forth. Yeah, so it's just. But it will be interesting yeah. yet again to see what goes on in the next couple of months yeah. to see who is coming forward yet again or if it dies down or if it's yeah. another explosion. It's gone a lot further than I would have ever imagined, and it needed to. Things needed to change. So I True. admire the women that mm-hmm. have, have dared to put their... Yeah, their name on the line. Well, on a happy note, yes, Prince Harry. Oh, I think it's so. I think it's amazing. Yes, really. Yes, I didn't even realize that she was. Um, you know, her mom's Afro American. Yes, her mom is. Yes. Oh, uh really? Yes, and um, it was really funny because um, my friend sent me this um video. It was hilarious. Okay. And and it was like, (laughs) of um, I don't know if she's half Jamaican or something. Anyway, she played a song and and you saw. no, it wasn't the royalty, but they were coming down, oh. doing their little boogie dancing, oh. <laughs> and the queen was clapping, and Harry was doing his uh-huh. like, look, yeah, you know that's not going to happen. But yeah, she is definitely mixed, and I think it's amazing. She's, she's mixed. beautiful. She's been divorced. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so now it's all like, of these, oh, yeah. you know, kind of these. Yeah, and she's absolutely. a model. Is that right? Well, I think model that's actress, and yeah. so she's giving up. She's giving up her career. But yeah. wow. anyway, the, I think Prince Henry. Amazing. Amazing. has just become a very charming, charming. yeah, handsome man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't know. I, I, so, I, I, I yeah. like that. And he's always gone his own way anyway. I mean, I think, I don't know if he's got more choices because he knew he's not, I he wasn't going to yeah. be king. And so maybe the expectations, I think, were different because he's yeah. always been different. He went into the army and all, all that kind of stuff. You well, know, I remember, remember mm-hmm. watching the royal wedding when I was six years old and just to watch everything kind of come to fruition and yeah. watch both of them get married now. And yeah. uh, yes, and yes. you know, but yeah, I don't know. So I, I, it's yes, it's going to be very oh. interesting to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Both of the brothers now, yes, get married. So well, locally, you guys go enjoy a mm-hmm. movie at Cinemark in the oh, new lounge goodness. theaters at Ooh, yes. the grand opening is in December, really? and so it's going to be fantastic. Do you have a date? Do you know what the date is? Um, I, they oh, just keep saying around. December. Oh. But when you come back. Oh, there you go. Exactly. It's going to be lovely. So oh, I can't excited. wait. We have Olive Garden now and a movie theater. Yes. No need yeah. to leave the city now. No, no way. We've got no. it all here, right? Yes, we of have it all. Of course we do. Oh. Yay. All right. Well, fun episode ahead here. Yes. <laughs> Coming up next, do you have a case of the ball humbugs? Our first guest knows all about them. Stay with us for the fun. Studio Chatter, are you having a hard time getting into the Christmas spirit? Let's hope that it mm. doesn't take a visit from ghosts to get over it. Let's welcome oh. Ebenezer Scrooge to the table. Yeah. Welcome, oh, Scrooge. Honey, thank you. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here with you. Yeah. We yeah. have a, a load of questions. Oh. So we want to start with your past and work towards your present. Oh, I wish I could introduce you to past. She's a lovely woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very, well, very tell nice. us, let's start with your childhood. Tell us about that. Oh, my childhood. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, for many years, I was very lonely, uh, sad, glum, oh. and by myself. Yes, I had a lovely sister named Fan who succeeded when I was, oh, perhaps eight years old mm-hmm. in turning the hearts of the father to the children, as it were. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, my father had a change of heart and I was able to go home for one Christmas, oh. which could have been the beginning of a new life for me, but uh, in as much as I loved Fan and my father, I came to <clears throat> love money more, and so things took rather a downward slide from there. As I became an apprentice to a jolly man named Fezziwig, mm-hmm. uh, he ran a rubber chicken factory <laughs> or a mill and feed store, depending on the version that we have. But uh, a jollier man there he never has been, not in the wide world over. But mm-hmm. as I grew from childhood into a man, I uh, yeah, well, this is a rather dark part of my past, actually. Mostly money, uh, money and uh, uh, rentals. Uh, there was even one 
Oh dear, I, I hate to bring it up, but there was one Christmas I evicted an entire orphanage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, no, oh, teddy bears oh, and oh, you know, it's very dismal. Oh. But anyway, I don't suppose we could change the subject, turn to something a bit more cheery. Maybe yeah. I, I've become a new man <laughs> since the okay. visit of uh, past, present, and future. Yes. Right. So what yeah. what made that change? What oh, Do, have you not read the book? Oh my goodness! Oh, it's so long! Oh, it's been so long! Oh no! One. Well, uh, just the Cliff Note version. Uh, the Cliff know. Note. Oh, yeah, it's very good. You so should try Dickens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, practically. <clears throat> oh no! The change. Yes. No. I was disagreeable. Uh, uh, foul-tempered. Uh, odious. Stingy. Ill-mannered. And all of the thing. I was obsessed only with money. Mm -hmm. uh, until one fateful Christmas Eve night. Uh, now, over a hundred years ago, I believe. I'm not how I'm sure how I'm still standing. Um, when I uh, uh, walked home after a um, typical Christmas Eve at the office, uh, foreclosures that I filed and um, yelled at a few children and said no to charity. Uh, Tess, Tess. Uh, well, no, yes, no, I know. I have, uh, do not say no when they come calling. Yeah, right. this is better. We are all beggars, as the as the saying goes. No, but uh, I was uh, visited by my deceased business partner Jacob Marley. Mm. He uh, visited my home at the uh, strike of twelve, I believe. Uh, frightened me terribly, and he said. Scrooge, if you do not want to spend eternity wandering the world over, witnessing happiness that you cannot share, uh, take heed. I tonight will send you three messengers, a ghost from the past, one from the present, and one from the future. Uh, they came. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was a very frightful night. The first ghost was a marvelous, marvelous woman. She frightened me at first. But she shone with such a brilliant light that it was difficult not to uh, oh, hang on her every word. Mm -hmm. And uh, she reminded me of times as a child when I hadn't been so cold, uh, so difficult, and so unfeeling, and so cut off from the land of the living, mm -hmm. as it were. After present, uh, future came. Mm -hmm. No, oh no, no, forgive me, uh, the ghost of Christmas present mm -hmm. came and he began to show me what the joy of Christmas really could be like. Mm -hmm. I'd always thought that there was uh, nothing more nauseating really than a family enjoying themselves at Christmas time, but he, he showed me another way. Mm -hmm. Games, uh, songs, presents, feasts. It was uh, a time like I had not had in years, like I had not remembered in many and many a year. Well, then came Christmas future. And I, oh, uh, have you seen Harry Potter? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. You remember the Dementors, the large, yes. Yes. The yes. drapey, black, soul-sucking creatures. Uh, the, the Ghost of Christmas Future looked very much like that. Mm. Not jolly, not beautiful, not nothing. This is nothing but glum, dismalness, and uh, <laughs> fear and terror. Uh, he, he showed me uh, what future would be like if I didn't mend my ways. Jacob had warned me, but future showed me. I saw people tearing my home apart after my death. Um, I heard conversations that I, even to this day, wish I could forget. I cannot. Um, but it, um, it worked a charm, Ooh. as you might say. I, I, we've not known each other long, you three and I, but I think <clears throat> my uh, my overall demeanor has very much been improved uh, very since much. The, the visits of the ghost. I gave my clerk a raise. Uh, his boy, Tiny Tim, a cripple, uh, got the needed medical attention he uh, necessary. He did not die. Oh, spoiler! Spoiler, I don't you? <laughs> Tim does not die. Uh, but anyway, and I've lived a long and happy life since then. Well, so, we have a lot of questions for you besides the story that Oh, I wondered. Knows, if so I very, uh, that's that. what I thought. Yes, my, uh, we can uh, skip them off. So, okay. yes, we actually have some questions from our viewers. And if um, I go on too long, interrupt, please. Oh, don't oh, let, oh, I'm no, an old no, man. No, Nothing good. But yeah. stories and um, stories. So you, you've obviously become a changed man. Um, yeah, like uh, of so. the ghosts that you have talked about, do you mm -hmm. have a favorite? Oh, I need you <laughs> even ask. <laughs> Christmas past. Uh, mm. And how much do you want me to say about her? Oh, just, just whatever you want to oh, say. Oh dear me, <laughs> marvelous girl. I knew her when yeah. I was a young man. Oh, okay. Yes, it turns out she is the 
Well, come see the show. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, okay. No, but, uh, Christmas Poshy reminded me what it was like to be a child again. Uh, I'm very grateful to Christmas Present for teaching me what it's like to be a child as a grown man. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I had to pick a favorite, it would without question be okay. uh, The Ghost of Christmas Past. Marvelous. Yes. Well, I love this question from Please. Travis, our, one of our crew people, crewmen. <laughs> um, was it the love of money? Or the Ooh. hate of people that made you so bitter? Oh. Uh, That's a good one, huh? Well, <laughs> yes. No. Uh, oh, a <laughs> oh, it was the love of money and the disregard of people okay. that made me so bitter. Yes. Uh, when I began to see people only as means mm. to increase my own wealth mm. and control over my loneliness, that's when things really began to get sour. And I let go the love of my life for this. She uh, stopped paying the mortgage on our honeymoon cottage and I foreclosed on it. And that was rather the end of that. So, no, it's when I began to see people as nothing more than means to get money that everything went completely south. Okay. There you go. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> so, are you going to... Do you have oh, enough? Yeah, I'll ask so, this more one questions, yes. Um, <laughs> what would you do differently? Oh, if I could go back? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Paraphrase that one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> If I could go back, I would never say goodbye to Belle. No, if I could, and I've tried as a ghost, when you see your younger self there doing something stupid, you want to grab him by the ears and shake him and say, No, you fool, don't let her go. Uh, so if I could go back, that would be the number one okay. thing. Yes, I'd, uh, I would uh, never have let Belle go. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. This this question comes from Mindy Tuckett. Oh, thank what's you, your, Mindy. Your, what's your most favorite thing about the holidays? Oh, about the holidays, everything. <laughs> oh, goodness, I love the music. I love the memories. I keep uh, in my heart of hearts, every Christmas Eve when I go to sleep, I wish... I hope, but it's never happened again, that the bells will go crazy around midnight or perhaps one o'clock, meaning that the ghosts have returned. <laughs> uh -huh. Christmas future, really, oh, past. But I'm past hoping for past. It's, she's gone. She died a happy woman. God bless her. But uh, uh, no, I love everything about the season, though, particularly the music. I love the happiness and I love, oh, I love the smiles that I see on people's mm -hmm. faces. That's yeah. good to hear. And what do you think we can um, do to be more mindful of others? At Christmas time? Yeah, well, not, not even just at Christmas. Oh, in general? In general. Oh, dear me. Um, <laughs> as Tiny Tim observed, mm -hmm. God bless us, everyone. Mm. There's not a person alive who's hoping for anything in this world other than uh, happiness. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. The worst that we do, the best that we do, all of it's done in the name of happiness. Mm. And uh, so I would say uh, to connect yourself more to the people around you, to be less cold and hard as I was for so many years people only desire happiness and uh, in as much as we force and twist others to our own wills we do nothing but rob them of that mm. uh, whether you do so with your money or whether you do so with your convincing words or arguments whatever mm -hmm. it is people are only looking for happiness doesn't mean we allow all things from all people but God knows we are all here, trying to live our lives as best we can, okay. as I would say. Yeah. Well said. Well, thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome. This is a pleasure. <laughs> Ladies, I have a long... No, no, it's not a long-standing tradition. It's brand new because okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on television before. I've okay. been in many books. Oh. Mm. Now, I was uh, wondering if we couldn't have a little competition before I go. Oh, a throwback, no. Yes, a throwback to the old oh. days. When uh, I used to say a phrase which I mm, seldom repeat, not never, but seldom, uh, it's uh, something I'm sure you've heard, and it goes like this. <laughs> ah, humbug. Oh. <laughs> yes. I don't suppose uh, we could have a competition to see who is the most Scroogey among you, yes, even in a play. <laughs> oh, yes, no. perhaps we could start with uh, Stacey. Oh, now uh, I'm laughing. To, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, very good. He's okay. hard. Yeah, okay. And then okay. yeah. half half maybe half half half. And then you and then Miss Natasha, okay. Okay. if we could. Uh, and I shall. I don't know who should be the judge. Maybe we'll vote okay. Democratic. Well, you yeah. definitely. Oh, yes. I have a lot okay. of experience. Yeah. Take okay. it. Okay. <clears throat> Please. Bah humbug. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Bah humbug. Oh, oh sorry, that's something. Yes, very good. All right, Natasha. Bah humbug. <laughs> no, very good. I'm not convinced. Not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> very good. And the winner, Afwa. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Everyone 
spirit in raising glass. Yes, Sorry. thank you. Cheers. To the Christmas season. Yes, That's right. To change so hearts. Much. To love. <gasps> okay, and you can catch a Christmas Carol at the Angeles Theater Monday, Friday, and Saturday nights until December 23rd. And including December 23rd. Oh, and Our oh, final oh, show is that Saturday very night. Good. Yes, oh, please come. Thank you, Ebenezer, for joining us. Very welcome. Thank it's you a pleasure so to be here, yeah, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up next, we will talk with a couple of our biggest fans. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. What are some of your favorite holiday traditions? Our next guests are probably a bit nervous to be here, but let's welcome oh, Shay yeah. Seisinger and Angela <laughs> Cook to the show. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. Hey, yes, welcome. We're oh, so good to see you. Our yeah. biggest fans on our show. Yay. Yes. 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 They like our pages. They make comments. So what are you guys doing out there? You know, these are the two. We've got thank others, you. of course. Of course. But we thought our favorites would come on the show, right? Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know if that's saying <laughs> okay. a whole lot, but we love it. <laughs> So much. <laughs> no, we appreciate your guys' support yeah. and that when we decided to have someone come and just share their holiday memories mm -hmm. and traditions, and that's what we wanted you here for. It's our yeah. Christmas show. So do you both have a favorite tradition or memory from your childhood? Ooh. Am I going first? Yeah. Okay. Sure <laughs> um, so we have a tradition called the Christmas pie box. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever no. heard of that. It kind of comes from England, isn't that oh, where really? you're from? Yes, okay. I am, yeah. So it comes from also Georgie Porgy, mm -hmm. the or oh, not Georgie oh, Porgy. Right. Oh, what's his name? Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy. Puddin' Pie? No. Run away. <laughs> I just missed Some nursery Georgie. rhyme. Yeah, yeah, it's a nursery rhyme. Oh, yeah. the, the one where he sticks his thumb in, in the pie. In oh, the pie. no, What's isn't it? Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of... Oh, I could go off there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it comes from that. Yeah. And we sit around a big box, uh -huh. and okay. there's presents wrapped inside this big, huge present. Uh -huh. And then we pull a string, and they usually get tangled up and stuff. But it came from back then, because that's mm -hmm. what they did. They baked toys into a pie. And oh. so now my family does that, and we, oh. but we don't do it as messy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we pull the string, and then they usually get tangled, and we're fighting over whose is whose, and mm -hmm. untangled. No, it's really fun. So oh. are the presents wrapped? Yeah. Yeah, they're wrapped inside. The inside of the pie. Of, yeah. Oh. With strings on. It's kind of weird, wow, but it's I've super fun. That. Yeah. And, That's fun. Cool. Yeah. So you did that as a child, and you still do it? We still do oh, it. Oh, wow. But it dates back to, like, the 1700s, so mm. a really long You'd time You have to ago. film that this year. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's really, really interesting. Fun. Yeah, yeah we've been doing it for years. So what kind of gift? So anything. I mean, my mom will put, like, flashlights in it, or but it. I mean, we've done it from, like, my great-grandparents down to... How big the pipe? Yeah. So it's like a big say. like apple box, <laughs> and, and then it's wrapped it? like a present. No, we don't do it. We we don't actually do the pie. Oh, we do okay. Just I'm box. just like yeah, wow. Just box. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same page. Right. Right. Like, this pie right? must be giant. Right. Must be right. giant. Right. It's kind of weird, but it's fun. protect it with plastic so you can eat the pie afterwards. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just a toy, like oh, a present. Oh, okay. oh that's fun. Yeah, and we do it with the grandkids, and so there's like 20 people pulling strings, and and do you do this on a particular night? Do you Christmas? Eve. Okay. Yep. Oh, Every one. So that's oh. one of my favorite things. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, what about you? So we have a tradition that's supposedly like Danish, but mm -hmm. um, it's the 23rd of December. It's called Little Yule Often. Mm -hmm. And that's when you make all the Christmas goodies. So mm -hmm. we would, mm -hmm. all, like, my cousins would always come to my mom's house and we'd make the sugar cookies. And the fry cakes are the traditional. Thing that mm -hmm. nobody else knows about. They're kind of like <laughs> potato cakes, and then you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, as we've gotten older, we've kind of just tried to Google it, and we can't. Find we're it. like, Mom, you made this up. <laughs> 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 like, there's kind of variations of it, but mm -hmm. nothing really that we Didn't actually it. celebrated. So oh. we're like, it must have evolved a lot <laughs> in our family. Mm -hmm. But so did you just do that favorite. as a child, or no? We still do it. Okay, so mm -hmm. do all the cousins still come over and you all bake? If they can, yeah. I mean, it's. Now that our family, we have the grandkids and everyone, it's big. Right. But sometimes oh, the cousins fun. still come over. And a couple of years ago, because I have adult kids, I just started a Christmas sugar cookie decorating party. Mm -hmm. So they all come over and we decorate. And so I hope as 
you know, more kids get married, more grandkids, yeah. it just kind of becomes a bigger better thing every year but it's yeah. they kind of look forward to it so it's kind yeah, of like your traditions fun. ebb and flow like mm-hmm. they have to as families grow oh, yeah. and change and that's so true yeah my in-laws on um, christmas eve would have those um soup bowls like it, a bread bowl like a bread bowl okay. yeah and then she'd make various soups you know mm-hmm. chicken oh. soup or some something and broccoli soup and then you can just pour oh. some in and the kids really love the fact you, you know that the lids on it and then they can open it and then yeah. start eating Aww. and then I everyone just that. meets up and it's, I thought that was really nice you know yeah, yeah so that's <laughs> something I've taken on not really taken on but you know <laughs> 23rd I'm always stressing actually <laughs> <laughs> so Angela on Instagram and Facebook and I'd love to watch your little elf Cornelius, oh, yes. do the do elf. all yes, do all sorts of fun yeah, things. We got He's the elf mischievous before the elf on the shelf was even a thing. So oh. our elf came in 2008, and I don't know when elf on the sh- elf on wow. the shelf hit, but. My elf is a little creepy looking. <laughs> Some people say he's creepy looking, but um, my husband's actually a big fan of that tradition. Mm-hmm. So that's mostly his territory. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Yeah. And I was reading an article today, and, and I'm I'm kind of on board. I'm like, mm, maybe that's a tradition yeah. that should go away. Well, and my six year old <laughs> work. My six year old. Yeah. She is really good. She behaves a lot. Because she really wants Cornelius to stay at our oh. house. <laughs> then that's a good yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're very, very, very really good. Very good. Yeah. Oh. It, it was funny. My, one of my kids went, why would you do that? And he's 11 then. Oh, yeah. Why would you do the elf? That's a lot of work. Who does that? <laughs> you, ain't, you know, it ain't your mama. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's going to clean that? <laughs> well, Angela and Shay, what do you guys do nowadays that's some of your favorite things? I mean, some of your, you already shared what a tradition was, but have you started new traditions or... Um, I do shop with the cop every year oh, with okay. my husband. So oh. what part of it do you do? I do all of it. I go with him from mm-hmm. the time he goes and gets the child. Okay. They used to do Kmart, but now Walmart yes. sponsors it. Now, I'm a rapper. Oh, really... Well, I, my Are first you? year was last year, but I'm... I'm doing it again, oh, so I'm so excited. Fun. Yeah, it's it's very Because your fun. husband's a policeman. Yes, so he is. So they take one child and yeah. tell us we, about so that. So we day. take them so um, <laughs> and we get we get them assigned, so and then early. we head up to the Festival of Lights. Mm-hmm. Up to and this, this is at like 6 a.m., right? Yeah, and then so it's dark, and uh-huh. we take them up, and they can go see all the lights. And, uh-huh. and it's so fun seeing all the police cars driving up. Highway 6 with all their lights and sirens going and um, little kids get to play with the buttons and get on the microphones Mm. and it's pretty fun and then we come back to Diamond Fork and um, I'm not sure who provides it but they do a really nice um, breakfast for us. I think Chad Argyle's family council. It's really fun Mm -hmm. and usually there's a special little visitor from Santa. (laughs) Um, Then we go over to Walmart and we take these little kids shopping and it's really That's neat. It's a special thing. Yeah, so a lot is that of them don't get everyone? Christmas. Um, everyone can do that, or do you well, need to be a cop? cop um, the shop. cop shop with the cop. cop is, oh, so you okay. kind of need to be uh, affiliated with <laughs> right, the cop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for that. But yeah, it's really fun. I just go with them because, I mean, some years he gets girls, and yeah. I can kind of help a little bit yeah. more. Um, so, off what these are for kids that are struggling financially that mm-hmm. otherwise they might not have a Christmas, but these kids can actually buy their own Christmas. Yeah. Mom. Or by their family, their moms, their siblings. Oh, Christmas. That's nice. And it's sponsored by. I, I'm. It's like just Utah, Utah County, County sheriffs, sheriffs mm. and then it's but all of the county officers. Um, officers. So mm-hmm. clear up from Lehigh. Yeah. Wow. And so clear down. So oh, that's beautiful. It's really fun. Mm, they get yeah. free coats and stockings, and yeah, it's awesome. It's that's really nice. fun. Really so cool. um, we started a tradition to go cut down our own Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. We've done that yeah. for lots of years. Yeah. And yeah. some years, they're not very good. The uh-huh. show we got to go Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah. I think of the Griswolds. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a fun one that we like to do. Um, with my extended family, we started going to Little America overnight. I was hoping oh. you were going to share that. Oh, and nice. then all of us try to go. I have five sisters mm. and my parents and then all of their families. And then we um, we just play at the hotel, and then the next day we go 
shop and go to Temple Square, and mm-hmm. it's one of my favorites. Oh, I nice. bet. And every year I think, I want to be like Angela's family. <laughs> <laughs> Grand America. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, one year so she, fun. my mom did surprises with Grand America. Oh, Normally wow. it's just Little America. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Little America is awesome. Yeah. You guys, thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank great. you so much. <laughs> yeah, it was always fun to Merry catch up on this. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Keep watching us, don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Coming up next, what are you giving this holiday season? Stay with us for some ideas. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Well, look at this table, ladies. Oh, this lovely. Is table. Who's responsible for this? Yeah, this I is know. a good table of pre-processed foods. Uh, it is. <laughs> kind of. Mm. Yeah. But I'm not so complaining. No. no. Not today. No. Okay. This is, I'm going to okay. go for and this I one. I the chocolate okay. collection this over there, Pepperidge Farm. I like Pepperidge Farm. Some of their things are quite, you know. Delightful. Like good yeah. Thing, yeah. actually. Go. Yum. Oh, you with and the pirouettes. Isn't this wonderful? Mm-hmm. This is really good. That would good be good with Christmas. hot beverage. Yes. Yes. As with this. Even with, yeah. Mm, I'll I'll think so. Ahead. Well, I got greedy there. Is I that really good? Two. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Fantastic. And the drinks. I'll just apologize now if I get a little mm. white. Okay. Ooh. So serve us. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Are oh, my you goodness. Guys doing anything in the community? Or I have a schools? friend. Random Acts of Kindness is what she's been doing for mm-hmm. the the days 12 days of christmas or right up from the first to the christmas day Mm -hmm. one of the things what triggered it was that this she went to starbucks your favorite place anyway and um she saw this gentleman come in with his wife but the wife looked like she was just all over the place kind of Mm -hmm. and he looked kind of stressed you know Mm -hmm. so he got himself a, a donut and a drink and got something for her but it looked like he was like taking care of her. So my friend went up to him and said, she just felt like he, he looked like he needed a break. And she didn't know anything about, mm-hmm. about their situation, obviously. So she goes up to him and just says, hey, do you need a break? And he just went, what? You know, she goes, you look like, you know, you could just sit somewhere by yourself and eat your donut. I'll watch your wife. I'll talk to her. He went on to explain that she has Alzheimer's. Oh. And so for like she said it was like half an hour or something he just really? went to the side and sat and at his donor and she talked to the wife mm-hmm. and the wife thought that my friend was um like her best friend from the past <laughs> and was just so chat 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 wow. and it worked out good and she just thought you know what if I hadn't just presented myself because of right. fear or for whatever right. reason and the guy just kind of teared up and just said thank you so much wow and well, I'm just, glad that it worked out that way yeah especially when when folks have dementia or Alzheimer's mm-hmm. sometimes they can be they can frightened. freak out yeah, yeah. right so I had a, a, a unusual experience yesterday mm-hmm. I was having a good day so I wasn't down in the dumps or anything right I pulled up to a stop sign to turn right and a car was right next to me to turn left but we both had to look the other way and so we looked at looked at each other and we shared the most genuine Christ-like smile Mm. that I've ever felt. We pull away and I started crying. I've never felt the power of Christ's love through a smile. And it hit me so hard. I was going to the eye doctor and I'm just (laughs) crying. (laughs) And I'm not a crier. Right. Why but it just hit me that the power of a smile mm-hmm. oh, totally. can alter someone's life. And I, Absolutely. like I said, I wasn't having a bad day. Right, mm-hmm. right. But I just knew that Christ was aware of me at that moment. So mm. hmm. That is beautiful. Anyway. Well, That's true. Sharing. Yeah, thank mm-hmm. you. And uh, I have another one. Oh, do you have okay. one? <laughs> No, I was I was just going to say, you know, um, light the world right now, uh-huh. you know, as, as of course going on and, and just invited to kind of share those messages throughout, you know, throughout the month and throughout um, just that that feeling that you mm-hmm. get in it. And, and it's too bad that it's only during December. And I was just going to hit on that. Okay, my my friend was saying that they went up to Salt Lake to with her daughter. Her daughter wanted to deliver coats. So they collected coats throughout, you know, the, mm-hmm. the week or something. And they um, provided it to the homeless up in in Salt Lake. And then they went to in some organization where they made burritos to give to the homeless as well. Okay. And I said, oh, well, that sounds great. I want to do that with my kids. She goes, oh, it's full. 
you know, the month of December, oh. everyone wants to do that, you know, yes. that acts of kindness. And she goes, all the other t- times, they're always in need of volunteers. Wow. So we need to be more service oriented. That's right. right. Outside of the month of December. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is true, you know. Well, on that note, let mm-hmm. me let me share this with you. There is there is a website called just serve. I was just gonna pull it up. Uh-huh. Yes. You know it's an yes. app. Um you oh, can I, didn't, download I didn't the realize app. it was an app, just but if serve. ever Ooh. you're looking yeah. for just local mm-hmm. opportunities, you right. literally can just pull that up and type in your zip code and there are local Love opportunities it. all the time to That's serve. Fantastic. I mean if you pulled that up to Today, I think Tabitha's way in and of itself, there's probably at least five opportunities to serve today. Speaking of Tabitha's way, I just spoke with Wendy Osborne, who Uh runs Tabitha's way today. And I said, are you gearing up for your annual Christmas dinner? (laughs) And she has a board because a lot of organizations and families donate money. And then that board oversees where the money goes. And they decided not to do the Christmas dinner this year because they were giving a lot of toys where a lot of people would give money. Mm. And instead of feeding people for one night and giving them toys, the amount of money that that cost Mm -hmm. could stock a food pantry for one month. No way. So they decided not to spend the money on toys to continually stock the food pantries. And then as people come to them asking, hey, we have toys to donate, where can we give them? She's referring them back to like the United Way and, you know, the different groups Mm. in in Utah County. So I thought that that was interesting. She's spending their funds where they need it most and that's feeding wow. right, feeding others that's so. really so, awesome yeah okay well coming up that ne- coming up next you better not pout you better not cry and you will see why stay mm. with us Our next guest really doesn't need an introduction, but as the Beach Boys called him, he's the man with all the toys. Welcome, <laughs> Santa, to the thank conversation. You. It's great to be here. <laughs> Merry Again. Christmas. Yes, Christmas. thanks for being Christmas here. Well. I think you were our first male guest really? last year. Yes. Yeah. Since then, we've had a couple others, but <laughs> you are our favorite. Of course yeah. he is. Well, I'm yes. everybody's favorite. <laughs> yes. I mean, when you want presents, I'm the yes. favorite <laughs> You're very, you're very popular, right? Uh, it's fun. It's fun. I bet. It is fun. We just came from a place where lots of course, kids were there and families. Mm-hmm. And, when the, you know, it's really gratifying to me when the kids come up and just crush you with a hug. Because, oh, no. you know, one in ten, they hide behind their mom's skirts mm-hmm. and they'll cry. But I usually, if they'll let me... Um, I can calm them down and just I, I reach at a distance and I slowly bring them in and they're mm-hmm. I'm happy when they say goodbye to me with tears in their eyes <laughs> but most kids are just great and it, it always fills my heart wow. what age do they stop coming up to you and telling you what seriously <laughs> do you have adults <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, but they're all kidding, you know. And they right. always want yeah. What's the age diamonds then? and girlfriends and yeah. boys and now some of us really aren't kidding. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped doing that. I've got myself in trouble. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, at ten, they're kind of on the fence. You can tell. Ten and eleven. I and agree. I tell that's them, what I would. I tell think. them that you know when you stop believing, that's when you just get socks and underwear. Well, it's after uh, that, it's used socks and underwear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe cool, right? Yeah. Oh. You know, even when they do, and they come with the whole family, and mom wants us to come and uh, meet Santa Claus, they'll come up, yeah, I'm Jeff, you know, and they, but they'll come, and they'll be happy when, when I tell them to help their mom, mm-hmm. help their little brothers and sisters, and they like that. Oh, they like that. They come to that, and they they seem to appreciate, uh, I mean, there they are, they're their little brothers uh-huh. and, mm-hmm. and sisters, and they respond to it. I like mm-hmm. that. So Santa Claus, what about, sometimes the season seems all about you. How would you suggest us having a more Christ-centered Christmas season? Well, you know what? It, it's interesting. This isn't just made up for today, but um, a little girl tonight, we were at a, at a, at a um, eatery at, at okay. Neater's, mm-hmm. and it was all for families, and they, they invited them to come see Santa, and that was fun. Um, I had a little girl come, and she said to me, you know this is about Jesus, don't you? <laughs> and she said that to me. And I said, of course it is. Of course it is. It's about us learning uh, uh, to give and receive gifts gratefully, just like when the kings, the three kings, came 
and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, and they presented him with very significant gifts as king mm -hmm. and as the baby and as the savior of the world. And so um, even though the world's kind of gone crazy about gift giving and getting mm -hmm. and so on, there's still plenty of people that know that um, it's giving in a sweet spirit that is, that is still there. Mm -hmm. I meet lots of kids, and I usually turn it toward helping their mom, helping their dad, and we joke about those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But they, they like it. And I've heard a lot of things recently that really give me hope, mm -hmm. and that is I'll have an older brother or sister, and I'll say, what would you like for Christmas? I don't say, what do you want me to bring you? Because, you know, they're smarter than that. Mm -hmm. And if I don't deliver, I'm in trouble. So I say, what would you like for Christmas? And often the older kids will say, as one did the other day, mm -hmm. said, I i don't really want anything. But my little sister, she really wants this. Oh, really? Or she really oh. wants that. So. And you have you say oh, that a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite actually, quite often. Really? Yeah, and I think that's pretty neat. Last year, I had one that stuck with me all this time, where the um, um, a little boy said to me, he "said I don't want anything," and I said, "Really? You you want a surprise?" He goes, "No, I don't need anything, but we don't have much, and I'd like my little sister to have." Such and such. Oh, and, you know, that really just kind of breaks you to hear that, mm -hmm. but right. they're getting it. They're getting it. A lot of people. When I tell them I do Santa Claus, you know, they're, they think, well, that's fun for you. And it is. I wouldn't do it if I didn't mm -hmm. like it. Um, but they, they, they tend to think kind of toward the commercial. Mm -hmm. And I say, yeah. sure, there is that. There is that. But I say, I see lots of good people that just want to give. And it's little things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I'm at a mall or when I'm at a place or I'm, I'm listening and they, some kids, their favorite word is and. <laughs> like a truck and a horse and, you know, but mostly not and so I try to bring it around to saying okay you know what do, what would mm -hmm. you really like for your family what can you do for your mom mm -hmm. what can you do and they respond really well oh, they good. really do I'm very encouraged That's neat. some mm -hmm. people look at that and they'll mm -hmm. see the kind of service that some do for others and they think like I heard this the other day and it kind of bothered me they said that's not really a service that's kind of self-serving. So what do you mean? Mm -hmm. We had some friends, a family, that made a bunch of little pies, and they were passing them out at this venue we were because they, they made it as a family, little pies, mm -hmm. and uh, they just wanted to pass them out. They didn't ask for anything in return, and it wasn't like donating to the food bank mm -hmm. or to people in wherever. It was just a community. Right. And, and so when this person said to me, it really isn't giving. It really isn't service. Oh. I thought, boy, it seemed like it to me because <laughs> we felt good. Yeah. Right. We felt right. good. And um, I'll tell one of the stories. I, I don't, I, this isn't you all about You love stories. Me. I do. <laughs> but you know what? I am a real guy, and I'm not just Santa Claus. I'm Santa Claus to some people, but uh, I can't go anywhere. I can't dress any old way with my hair. <laughs> and, and my little glasses, uh -huh. and uh, people will say things to me. Do you ever do Santa Claus? Uh -huh. And I give them a car, and they go, "Oh, I knew it, I knew it." But we were at a, we were at Sizzler. Yeah, we do eat meat sometimes, uh -huh. Most, mostly reindeer. <laughs> old, 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 old reindeer. We we were at a Sizzlers, and I got the salad bar. I did. I got the salad. <laughs> And we had just ordered the senior special, you know, the <laughs> only can eat salad bar. And I went to pay, and the gal said, uh, no, you, you don't need to pay. I said, oh, you don't need to do that for me. And she said, no, the couple, there was a couple that paid your meal. Aww. And I thought, wow, that's really something. Yeah. But just looking, I knew who it was, because this couple was <laughs> taking a long time paying. They're probably explaining how they wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. So I knew who it was. So I kind of looked over at him there at the salad bar, mm -hmm. and I thought, you know, the best thing we can do, and this doesn't make me a good guy, it's just kind of passing it on. Mm -hmm. When we went up to pay, I said, this older couple behind us, believe me, they're all older than me. <laughs> I said, uh, let me pay their meal. Oh. It's great. So it was just kind of a pass it on. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of that. I yeah. really am. Because we live That's in such so a nutty world. Mm -hmm. Giving and taking and complaining and and uh, and uh, accusing and all the things mm -hmm. that go on. That's when so people true. do that to me, I have to pass it on. 
Okay. And I see people doing it, so passing good. out pies, mm. you know, little things, paying for dinners. Yeah. So I think that it's there. And, um, yeah, I do get to talk to and as often as I can. I'll talk about baby Jesus and the kings and presenting the gifts. <laughs> And then Jesus gave us so much. It is about him. So Christmas is about Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's about giving. And I think it universally it's about service to each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's really about. Mm -hmm. So what I'm encouraged about is I see it and I feel it. And I'm lucky to be in that position to, to witness it. To witness mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's what I think. Absolutely. And what would you like to kiss on? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Remember the diamonds. Yeah. Um, Maybe exactly. something like that. Um, What's the most outlandish um, present someone's asked? For a little kid? For a little kid, you know, out you just like, ooh. <laughs> Drones are a big deal. Oh. Uh, drones. Yeah, uh, I was wondering, true. like, what maybe the popular thing yeah. they yeah. are. And I, I know they do have little ones that aren't too much, but yeah, drones and remote controls, number one. Oh. Oh. With kids that are a little older, that's what they want. Really. Just boys or girls? What about little girls? Oh, little yeah. girls. Okay. They want little remote Barbies. Oh, <laughs> Interesting. That's def definitely it's still, a, after all these years, Barbie is the is still, Barbie but a technological and, uh, Barbie. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I won't let that happen. <laughs> no. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the big thing. Well, perfect. That's the big thing. But well, still, thank, it's you for, thank you for being here. They're, no, they're telling you. us it's time. But let well, me do ask to for be a good. white Christmas. Yes, please. You know oh, what? If it's going to be cold, it yeah. might as well be white. I agree. Yes. <laughs> but not till like the 23rd. <laughs> that's right. Just and, Christmas. And, only and then the it mountains. disappears right. at no, the 27th. It can come down. It can come down for one day. Yeah, that's right. We're not too picky. And then it can go away by the afternoon. Come like in Camelot. Thank you, Santa. No, thanks for I really appreciate it. There's more studio chatter on the way. Ladies, so we have made it again. again. <laughs> Absolutely great. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Book report time. Yeah, book report. So this, the Miracle Morning, loved it because Two it, up, it my yeah, gosh. yeah, yes, mm -hmm. not hard to read. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, quote from Neil Donald Walsh, Conversation with God. I'm sure you've heard about it. It's controversial. Anyway, he says life begins at the end of your comfort zone. You know what? Getting up out of bed early in the morning, four o'clock, to do these certain things. Wow. It matters. My day, like you were saying earlier, day matters. If you don't get out of bed, if you don't do your meditation and your readings, you know, to get you up and, and seeing all these things and then do a little bit of yoga or exercise or run. Mm -hmm. The rest of the day, so I, I didn't do much. But I think working out for me in the morning, and I know some people say, well, I can't work out in the morning, but I think it's just changing your mind frame. Absolutely. Because your workout then changes your habits of eating maybe that, for yes, the day. I'm like, oh, I worked out yes. hard this morning. Or, well, I did work out. I can have yeah. one cookie. Or something. You know, no, it's true. Or all of these. Or, all of okay, that, not yeah. All of them. Not all <laughs> yeah. of them. But, Tomorrow we'll run far, yeah. further. But yeah, I think, I really think it's a mindset change. Even if, even if you say... I'm not an early morning person. He's saying that lots of people have done that. But once they changed and decided, because successful people, this is what they do yes. to accomplish a lot in the day, to accomplish a lot in their lives even. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think it's spot on. And I don't think it necessarily happens overnight even. It no, can even be a small change, even if it's 30 yes. minutes right. to start Absolutely. and then the hour. And I think anybody that does it to make that small change mm -hmm. and, and makes that change to see what can happen in the morning yes. before the day actually uh -huh. begins, yes. yeah. you have to live it to see that change. And you're mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, just everything that happened 
mm-hmm. before it happened. Mm-hmm. I remember, I think he said this, is that we have more control or power at the very beginning of the day Absolutely. and the very end of our day. Oh, it's Sometimes so that whole middle part of the day is mm-hmm. eaten up. It's sucked up oh, from everyone totally. else. But we have total control and power yes. of what we choose to start our yep. day and how we choose. And and then sometimes at the end, sometimes not. If, right. if you have little kids and yeah. whatnot, but love that. How many times yes. have you done that so though? True. You get up early, early and yes. you're like, oh my gosh, I accomplished oh, so much. Yep. Oh, yeah. So okay. much. Words to live by. You. Love it. Thank yeah, you. Really. Great choice. Okay. Excellent. What's the book next? Time. Yes. Um, I think we're going to give everyone two months because with the holidays and everything, yes. but it's called Home Going. Yes. Home Going by Home co- Going. Yeah, G- um, Giussi, I yep. think. She's gone in and tells oh, the it's history. Oh, it's an incredible it's book. Okay. Our book club actually is reading it right now, awesome. so that's why yeah. I wanted to choose it. I just finished it yesterday, and I really think it's one of the best books I've read. Yeah. Have mm. you read Roots? No. It's up there with that. I would okay. Say. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's pretty good. It, it's powerful. Obviously a smaller version. But, <laughs> <laughs> but scared you me. know, That's yeah. That's pretty heavy stuff. Good writing, yeah. <laughs> this was fun, you guys. Maybe yeah. This was oh, oh, yes. yes. Well, yes. Oh, wait, you're yes. heading to Africa. Yoo-hoo, yes. For three weeks? Two. Two weeks. Two. Oh. So. Okay, so but we're going to need some time when you get back to just tell yes. us all about it. Uh, yeah, please. Oh, that would be really good. Please take photos I'll, to share everything. Oh, I will. Yes. Yeah. Share on our Facebook. I Show will. us some pictures. Yeah. And try and do some lives with my sister. Yes, Woo! because you're going to be doing some pretty heavy <gasps> visits to some places yes, that we're talking about. That's right. Yeah, we want to go to all these that. different places. Mm-hmm. And, and you're going to the castle that is actually in, in the Yes. So if I can try and finish. Yeah, I'll try and finish the book before getting there. That would be really good. Clean. Read on the plane. Listen yeah. to it on yeah. the plane. Yeah, and I've got the book. That was a funny thing. About a month ago, no, about six months ago, it came out new. I wanted to read it, but I gave it to my mom. My mom read it. Oh, isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. Life is interesting. Yeah, isn't it? And yeah. it came round, and yeah. here I am. The way it. things are. Wow, yes, yeah. indeed. So going oh, to Natasha, be. Natasha, I hope you have yeah. a good Christmas oh, with your you. with, with your two with little ones. ones. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Here too. Uh, almost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've you've got it. Yeah. Merry Christmas. To Merry our Christmas. Viewers. Merry everyone. Christmas. Thanks for being here with us. We hope you enjoyed the conversation. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Bye.